Several flights carrying Gambian pilgrims have arrived in Medina. Currently, at least 1,000 Gambian pilgrims have so far made it to the Holy Land. This to a large extent shows the efficiency of this year's Hajj operations. Prior to their departure, the managing director of the Gambian International Airlines, Numo Sane, assured the pilgrims that they will not face challenges upon arrival in Medina. I say good evening to all of you and welcome to um, uh, GIA, uh, the grazing ceremony of our second flight. Our first flight has departed yesterday and the good news is that, thank God, the flight has landed safely and all our pilgrims are in safe um, accommodations and they are doing well in Medina. We are also praying that all of you depart here safely and you have a very smooth journey and land in the holy city of Medina <clears throat> and um, meet our people who are there. Esha Dabo, president of the Gambia Supreme Islamic Council, emphasized the need for pilgrims to understand that their mission in Mecca is only to worship and ask for forgiveness from Allah. <laughs> We greet you all because you are Allah's honored servants. There is nothing more bigger than calling you Allah's visitors. You are Allah's visitors and he is the one that chooses the people who visit him because no one chooses to visit Allah for him or herself. We thank Allah for that and we pray that he makes your journey easy for you. Many Muslims aspire to embark on the spiritual journey but not all are fortunate enough to have the opportunity. Alhamdulillah, just thanking Allah that it's a dream come true to every Muslim. Um, knowing that Hajj is the fifth pillar of Islam. Uh, when we complete the fifth pillar of Islam, it means that we have completed it's the whole package as a Muslim. So we are grateful to Allah and we praise Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we thank the family, friends and the loved ones that have definitely helped us. Really, as the Holy, as the Holy Quran said, if we go to Maka, God will help you. And anything you ask for God, He will give it to you. That's period. And anything you did there, you did uh, what they call Junubo or other thing, that God can easily extract that from your sin. So from your, for, for, for any sin on you, it can start up from you. So that, 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 that's so laudable. Yes. But that, one, that one is something where I know people should try. And any, as they said, if God calls you, you should go there. But let's try and go there. If you have the ability and the, and the money, you should try and go there. Mohamed Lamin Ba, a resident of Sandu in the Upper River region, took note of the increasing numbers that leave the Gambia to perform Hajj annually. First and foremost, we thank Allah and send salutation to our beloved Prophet who made it possible for us to perform the Hajj with his assistant and through his mercy. And to the people who made this possible for us, we thank them without leaving anyone behind. We thank Allah and we also pray for the Gambia for peace to continue to reign. The Ethiopian Airlines plane flying the Gambian pilgrims to Medina left Banjul International Airport around 1900 hours on Tuesday and is expected to arrive at its destination in the early hours of Wednesday. Ibrahim Ajalo, GRTS News.